Hey, if you're in the military and you think they're like being successful in the property market requires planning, requires a sync matrix, requires some decision points, you're absolutely in the right place. Watch this you know, case study right now and I'll show you how important it is. You can get it right or you can get it wrong. So here's a quick little situation brief, right? Stick with me for a second. You wanna get into the property market ASAPRE, no brainer. You don't think you have a deposit saved up right now? Say you got about 40 grand in the bank. Happy days, a lot of clients of ours have got that. You think it's gonna take another six months or so until you got like sort of that magic number, $50,000, $60,000 to get started? Say you're saving about two grand a month or four grand a month as a double income, no kids, and you wanna wait until you got the full deposit until you get started. This is what's gonna occur. So here we are now in mid 2021, you get to the end of the year, you're like, sweet, I've got sort of got my money saved right now, let's go through the acquisition cycle, put your expression of interest in, and that's when you start to benefit from the property market. Fast forward a few months then, you sort of, you know, you get your finance approved, the block registers, you settle on the block of land, you go through the build process, and it's about the end of next year where you're sort of done there. But here's the thing, the differences between these two lines of capital growth, because you didn't want to get started now and you waited until you had your savings, look at all this growth that you've missed out on in, in the meantime. When you extrapolate that out over the next 20 years or so, it's literally potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars that you've missed out on. Conversely, you sort of, it's the same situation, but now you want to put together a strategy and get started now. There's a massive difference. Here's the principles that we're going to follow. We're not going to undertake any risk. There's going to be concurrent activity. You get to benefit from the market sooner. And then of course you buy time for your savings to grow. Watch this. Same process, but it's just bought forward. You do the acquisition process basically now and submit your expression of interest and therefore you start benefiting from the market immediately. You then go ahead and go on your savings routine. Happy days, you get to like mid next year, you then get your finance approved, settle on the block of land, etc. Now here's the get out of jail free card from a no risk perspective and it only pertains to buying a property here in Queensland. You are fully protected by a finance clause. You literally put a thousand bucks deposit down here and you're fully protected by a finance clause. If you can't get your finance approved, you walk away. You go ahead and do the build process, you have your tenants move in, but oh by the way, because you were able to take action all the way back at the start, you get the maximum amount of capital growth. Now that ladies and gents is how you'll be successful in the ADF property market. You do planning, you do synchronization, you work with a team to make it happen, that's where you get the best results.